just zone out, you know, a tide in this scenario. Um, yeah, but um, with A he gets the third spell off on the void, they can that carrier. That's much more important than his own life. <laughs> Pilot uh, die first blood. <laughs> tactical feed by Pilot man onto the top tower. Bottom Meanwhile, tower bottom attack. lane bone seven there gonna be taking the tier do. one there. Uh, there is a glyph up, so maybe they will glyph that tower. Nope, no glyph on the bottom one tower, bottom tier one tower. To uh, get that refresh. But uh, top lane wards being dropped, and it looks like they're gonna take this fight. Invis morphling, can he get a huge oh waveform here? Oh my god, and the lit shot coming out as well. And Death Prophet, having only 900 health, completely gets melted there. And uh, the Tide Hunter just gonna TP out. KY actually. But the refresh glyph on tier one towers. But now they're gonna go to the tier two, drop uh, separate wards, and this is why you ult for the first one, because now they don't want to fight at the second one because you already have your ultimate out. But right now though, the DPLT will be going down, and it's gonna be a panda split onto Mushi. Bone. Here comes the uh, oh, Bone Seven actually on the side getting picked off by the A ultimate. But Hyo stuck there in the trees. Yeah, and uh, Mushi in the air going to also fall here. Shadow Shaman getting picked off. In the back, and now the Chronosphere comes out, but the sleep is on him as well, so he's not going to be able to do much under that. And uh, KYX are going to be chased away. A is in the air now. He will also take a fall, and Ohio already TPing away for the split push. Is seen. Yeah, another thing you notice is or the Lich Frost armor is actually really good. Uh, kind of to even fight or contest any pushes. That Cloud9 does. So looks like top lane. It's gonna. Yeah. There's gonna be some action coming too. Both teams smoking all the way up there. Pi seeing that uh, actually Bone Seven is gonna get picked off here first, and here comes a BKB Panda onto the A, killing him instantly. And KYXY is he gonna get slept here? No. Nope. Uh, Yo's gonna come out. Actually, the Ravage coming out, and his Yo is gonna come out now. Lich Hot bouncing around, uh, not really doing much damage. Pi is gonna be the first to fall here. Look at this boy's damage. Like, he does literally 10 damage with Enfeeble. And actually, Bone Seven getting caught out on the top side here, but the uh, Shadow Shaman is just gonna have one tower. Yeah. Nine. Look to just take this, and with the Aegis, Envy is just gonna run in there and bait them onto him. He can be being popped by the Panda. They're gonna try and go on Mushi here. Actually, they're not really sure who to go on. They're gonna go on KX, but he's gonna leap away. Uh, but he will die to the Lich right click at the end there. And Ohio, MB does get the tower here. And Pai is just gonna fall to a Gush and the new coming out from Shadow Shaman on, on the back. He's just gonna tear up the words and Net's going to be the one to fall. MB does not have uh, his Aegis anymore, so maybe he should be a little bit afraid, but. I guess the A ult is on. They're gonna, yep, yeah, they are gonna grip him, but he does have so much health with this heart, so I don't know how much this can possibly do. This might even be a disaster for C9, actually, since they didn't show anybody else. And here comes the Ravage, and Pi gonna BKB it, but Taui, he is gonna get hit by that A ult. He does have a bit more HP, so he won't die right now, but if, the, if a nuke comes out onto him, he will fall here. Uh, Mushi gonna or oh. <laughs> use off the orchids and in comes the corner sphere. They don't really know who to go on. Yeah, Actually, they're, they're not gonna kill this panda. It's just gonna split away. Mushi's gonna fall. Shadow Shaman already fell earlier, and now Ohio gonna have to TP out. Will the sleep come out? Nope, sleep does not come out. And the faceless void up in the air, leaps away, and maybe Furion can TP in. Yep, and there he is. And with the orchids, they're gonna secure this place. I felt. Oh wow. Yeah. I felt Mushi focus the lich they were going for way too much today they were trying to go for the bane and trying to go for the lich because they saw this a ult hit on him and instead of just securing one kill falling back they end up uh, dying with three heroes instead and uh, a ult coming on to the morphling here and shadow shaman wards drop too this will be his aegis actually popped and uh, shadow shaman and time instantly falling from c9's uh, damage and that's gonna be a buyback coming out from Shadow Shaman this does not look good for Malaysia's draft I mean Malaysia's rats <laughs> a BKB clap onto the Shadow Shaman who just popped back and he's just gonna fall right there and that Vlad's AC build showing its strength solo killing the Shadow Holy Shaman Void is gonna die too and I won't be surprised if this will be a right here uh, GG yeah, Looks like it's over, but Malaysia's gonna stick through. But maybe they, we must as well.
Are we gonna get spun up? Not gonna matter. And uh, KOX are actually gonna buy back here with go the faces right. They have Chronosphere. This is gonna be one of those kill them GG out. Like uh, Team Tinker style. That's 4 man. You gotta kill the S4. <laughs> gotta kill the S4 and Mushi with the ultimate out. Not gonna be able to do too much and he will just fall here. And still no GG call being made just yet and there it is. Mushi GG. 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 Ohio going to be giving out that GG Ravage. I think this game came back to the supports on um, on Malaysia weren't able to do enough, as well as Mushi just yeah, being I kind of so. underfarmed. Yeah. I think the pick with the, I the think Lich they Morphling really screwed them over. They didn't yeah. know what they should do against it. I think they should have just said DLS.